Today we are back with a homeowner series. It will be a very busy day around the property. Today we will be organizing the garages. We'll be buying a snowblower, buying another project truck, mowing the lawn, and doing a few other things around the property. I'm excited to be back here with a homeowner series. Before we get started on today's projects, we'll head around back, give the dog some food, and give you an update on the patio and a few changes that will be coming. Now the temperatures have been dropping and it's around 40 to 50 degrees out these last few weeks. That means it is time for us to put the pool away. I will be getting the filter, everything put away along with draining about a foot or two of water out of it. We'll put uh, a cover over it and that will be it for the pool. It's just way too cold. Even on these uh, warm days it's still around 60 degrees and the water is nowhere near that. Up next, we'll be starting the process of organizing our garages. So we are buying a project truck today. It's a 1993 Ford F-250 extended cab. It's the same body style here as this 1997. Now this truck here was a project truck, but it will be no longer. We'll be holding on to this, adding it to our collection. Today we'll be putting the stock wheels and tires on it and putting it in the garage. I really just don't want to drive this anymore. It's in such good condition. 15,000 original miles and I think that this could be worth something and it just looks so cool so what we want to do is uh, we want to get fired up and get warmed up while we kind of discuss what we're doing with those garages now I haven't turned this on here in a few days and it's not plugged in so let's kind of see what's going to happen And there it goes. So it did take a few tries, but it looks like we got it while it's warming up here for a few minutes. Let's kind of discuss what's going to happen. So in here we have four classic cars and trucks. We need to make room for another one. Yes, this is a three-car garage, but we are going to fit five vehicles in here. So I was kind of thinking, how can we do this? What we'll do is we'll get this turned around, put it as close as we can against the wall. We'll move this one as much as we can over, move the Shelby over, and we could also get a few more feet over here on the K30. Now I do want to take this out later today as well and kind of drive it before uh, the snow comes because these vehicles will not be going out in the winter. We do not want uh, them to get anywhere near salt. And now let's kind of get going on getting these changed over. Now, we will be putting these wheels for sale online, hopefully getting uh, some of our money back and using that money towards a new uh, build. I really do like this truck and I really don't see any more big changes coming to it and that's kind of why uh, we are doing this big change here. Now we'll get the uh, tires changed back. I think we'll do the stainless steel and let's kind of see, how about chrome? We'll do the chrome and we'll just put the regular wheels and tires on it. And that's it there. So we'll leave the truck right there and let's kind of get going on moving these around. I'm excited though to be back here with the homeowner series. It's very popular here on the channel, which is pretty exciting. We do so many cool things around the property. Today we have quite a lot to do, especially with winter just around the corner. There's some more projects I want to do, and also uh, we got to get prepared for the winter season. Now we did start to get firewood split so we could have a nice fireplace, and there's some other things I definitely want to do. Now all of these old classics here are on battery tenders. I really do like doing that so that the batteries just don't drain. And we should be able to fit uh, this, yeah look at that, so much more room. And I, I'm doing this that way we don't have to get out against the wall. And that just makes that easier and we'll be able to hug the uh, F100. Get as close as we can to it now. Oh yeah look at that, we are going to fit them all inside which is great. If you do have any cool ideas here for the homeowner series, please let me know. I really do enjoy using your feedback here to improve the channel and its videos. Let's hop here in the old Shelby and get going. Now I am looking into getting a new Shelby for the series, which I think would be pretty exciting to do. I really do like Shelby's and I think uh, getting a new one uh, to go right next to this one would be nice. Looks like we have a collision there, but you guys can see that looks great. Perfect. 
Awesome, let's hop here in the KE30 and I actually want to go get the snowblower in this. So the local dealership gave me a call saying that their snowblower inventory is now uh, there. So I went over there, bought one. It's just over, I believe, $1,100 for the snowblower. It's a bit expensive, but it's big enough uh, to handle our driveway in a reasonable amount of time. This K30 looks so crew, uh, cool. Crew cab, a long bed dually, and this body style looks amazing. I hope everyone's having a great day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day has been a bit busy with school work, but it's been pretty good. Although the temperatures are dropping, we now have to wear uh, sweatshirts, and, but that's okay. I really do like the fall season though, with all the leaves changing, the leaves falling, and that means we could do some great videos here in Farming Slender. And I have also gotten quite a lot of comments about GTA 5. Yes, we will be doing GTA 5 on the channel once again, but probably in a few weeks, or even closer to uh, uh, November. We'll get backed up here and get the snowblower loaded up. Now, last week we got one for the lake house, and this one is even bigger than that. This thing looks so cool. Now, it is here on a pallet just because we have to put the oil and uh, a few other things in it. They don't come with the oil. That's for uh, safety reasons as well. But uh, actually, yeah, we'll get that strapped down. It might move around just a little bit, but we are now using our classic truck. And I do get a lot of comments as well to kind of drive uh, all the vehicles, not just have them sit around. Now I think it would be pretty cool to get ramps to be able to drive maybe a snowblower or dirt bike into a lot more trucks. A few trucks in FS19 have that feature, but I wish more and more did have it because that would be so cool. We have a plow up front and a snowblower in the back, and that would be awesome. Now this winter the plan is to put a plow on uh, the F-250 but also on the Duramax. We'll be using the Duramax as a plow truck helping our neighbors and uh, we actually have a few businesses we will be plowing for. That should be pretty exciting. And awesome. So we got this here and I think for now we'll just put it kind of right in front of that door uh, and we'll have to kind of find a good spot for it. But I do want to get it turned on and a few other things. So I think we'll get it turned on in the next video since I have to go buy oil for it. We just leave it right outside there. And right now we'll get this parked inside and uh, we'll get all the organization done. This was all we were going to organize, but it's so much work to get all of these vehicles fired up, moved around when we don't really drive them too often. There we go. Look at all that room we have. Awesome. Sometimes if you're good with uh, managing the space in, in your garage, you have a lot more room than what you thought you had. Now this one I, I really want to wash. So let's kind of get back up here. Uh, get the pressure washer turned on and get this cleaned up. I really do like the dark red here on this truck, but the new one we are buying is kind of race red uh, style. Now for these older diesels, I really just like to drive them in the garage. The exhaust fumes are pretty bad, and I really don't want that uh, carbon dioxide in the garage. But that looks to be good. All organized. Perfect. Looks like when I got out, it, that vehicle moved over, so I will have to fix that. But everything is nice and organized inside. Let's get in the F-250, get the trailer, and head on out. Now this OBS truck is an extended cab uh, short bed and it comes with a Fisher plow. We are buying it from the local farmer. It's in really good condition and I couldn't turn down the deal. We are pay uh, probably paying around, I would say, fifteen to $16,000. Now the plow does raise the price just a bit, but I think it's well worth it. Now I have gotten quite a lot of feedback to trade this truck in. Now I am possibly uh, thinking about getting a GMC Denali. So let me know, should we trade this for a Denali? I think that will be a great trade. Or we might get maybe a Denali Dually. Uh, but I, I think we'll get a GMC next if we do trade this in. We have to remind ourselves to get the tow mirrors folded out because it's going to be a wide load.
I would like to thank all of you guys for the continued support on the daily videos. I really do enjoy uploading every single day here to YouTube. It's a great hobby, great passion of mine, and I really do appreciate all of you guys. It's been awesome at these uh, number of years that I've been doing it, and I plan to uh, continue it in, uh, in FS19 and more uh, farming simulators in the future. Now this F-250 has been such a great truck here for us, it would be definitely sad if we were to, to uh, trade it in. It just works so great and it does the job. Now I think we'll have to kind of back it up here on the trailer. The plow will probably have to hang off it. That's not the safest, but that's how it's going to happen. And whoa, look at that guy's a brand new project truck. Now there are so many options in the store that we could do with this. And that will be great uh, for doing modifications too. We'll get the ramps folded out. But let's take a look here at this truck. You guys can see 9 foot a straight blade Fisher. Uh, you guys can see it's actually an F-350 so I thought it was a 250. That's good that it's a 350. You guys can see stock wheels and tires. Uh, just over 26,000 original miles garage kept since brand new and the plow is also uh, original to the truck which is great now let's kind of check out the interior let's kind of see how it is looks like the seats are holding up well a few little uh, things there in the seat but wow this is awesome now this truck here does have the 7.3 which is also one of the reasons why I really wanted it that 7.3 is a great great engine one of my favorite engines uh, for diesels now this truck we'll kind of discuss what we'll be doing to it when we do get back over to the house it looks like it's a little too wide for the ramps, but we should be able to get it to work. Oh, yeah, it's fitting no problem. Oh, yeah, that F-250 uh, there is going to be sitting a little bit low. Actually, we could put the ramps down, uh, the, the uh, plow down, and put the ramps in. The top here on the inside, get these uh, tow mirrors uh, folded out, and let's head back. That is awesome. Heading back with a new project truck. We will be continuing to do modifications to the uh, Duramax, but the uh, 1997 F-350 uh, is no longer uh, going to be doing too much work to it. Maybe a few details and things like that, but that's it. On braking, you guys can see requiring a ton of brakes uh, to get this stopped. Now I am working out a few bugs here with a farming cylinder. It looks like if you save the game too many times it causes lag. Hopefully uh, we can play on this uh, map in this save game for a few more months before we have to move to a new house. And I think when we do uh, make that move we'll get a whole new map and I think that will be a great thing to do. Oh yeah, you guys can see, wow, uh, that truck's sitting pretty low. Might have to look into upgrading this truck, maybe getting extra leaf springs or just getting the uh, towing suspension uh, from the factory. But uh, that's pretty much it, actually. That's kind of. We'll pull forward here and we'll just park it here for now because I do want to do a few things to this trailer, make sure that uh, air and the tires are good, everything like that. Let's get this uh, unloaded and kind of discuss what we're going to do to it. Now I want to put this in here just because of the plow, it won't even fit on the lift. Right before we put it in the garage, let's discuss what we will be doing. We'll be putting a visor and lights up top. We'll be getting some aftermarket wheels, getting the tow mirrors for it, uh, getting a color match, uh, bumpers and grill. And I think we might do a two to three inch lift kit. And probably get the old classic tailgates and a few other things as well. So lots to come here on it. Can't wait. And this will be kind of our winter project. 
But let's put this inside, head over there, uh, and get going on mowing the lawn. There's so much lawn we have to mow. Sometimes having a big property is not the best when you have to sit there for three, four hours to mow. But we'll get on the 1025R with a bagger, and we'll get going. And since the leaves are falling, it's best to bag the lawn as well. Even though it's going to be a little bit longer, the uh, lawn will look pretty good as well. And I do want to do some last uh, fertilizer or, uh, before we call it a season for the uh, taking care of lawn. And can we get the 1025R? Let's kind of see if we go on this side. Perfect. Now since we are mowing, we'll take the uh, loader off. No need to have it on. Tomorrow will be a busy day here at the lake house. We have some things to do with the boats, and we also have some projects to do before uh, the temperatures get too cold. But there we go. We'll get the uh, mower on and everything going. Now I am having a problem here with my game, kind of making the uh, game sound too low during the video, so I will have to look into that, and I am also going to be fixing the game sound. We actually have to rent a stump grinder. I think we might do that coming up soon as well. So many things to do. The uh, projects keep adding up. When we think we're making progress, uh, we aren't. Just double checking that we are mowing. Definitely don't want to be uh, not mowing. Oh yeah, it's doing it. Now for a property of this size, the 1025R is a great fit. Really do like it quite a lot. It's pretty efficient and it does the job which is what we need. Now I will be completely redoing the 1025R, trying to get it uh, to look better texture wise, handle better, and get all the features done. And that is why I have been holding the release uh, for this uh, mower, and tr along with the uh, Kubota tractor, and I've been a bit busy with schoolwork as well. I will be continuing to do the lawn here off camera, but hope you guys enjoyed our busy day around the property. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.